Now we're going to look at some real life applications of writing a linear, linear equation given data. For example, uh, a taxi fare, a nice easy example, with, and we'll do a table and graph to completely understand it. We'll do an example with that is like exercise 43 and 44, and we'll do 46 exactly with the access ramp. So the one example like 43 and 44, and then 46 exactly. Okay, so let's start with this. A taxi charge is $5.50 for one mile, and $10.50 for three miles travel. Find a linear equation that gives a taxi fare in terms of number of miles. Well, if we think about this, okay, he charged five fifty for one mile. That means obviously he's charging five fifty per mile, doesn't it? Well, then he charged ten fifty for three miles, so ten fifty over three is about three. Um, is that 350 per mile, isn't it? Well, that's weird because he's charging a different rate. Well, again, that's where the base fee comes in. There's a base fee involved with this taxi, and that's why it seems like there's a different rate per mile when, in fact, there's the same rate per mile, just the base fee. So this is what the answer is. He's charging 250 per mile plus a three dollar base fee and that's what we have to find with algebra the 250 or the slope and the three dollar base fee so let's go ahead this is the answer this is what we have to find which is the equation y equals 250 x plus three we have to find that he's charging 250 per mile plus three dollars base fee so do an input output table and graph the um, taxi fare press pause and go ahead and do it. So now I'll do it. Uh, what do I pick for x values? Well, not negative numbers, because x represents miles, doesn't it? So 0 miles, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If I go 0 miles, I'll be char it'll be 250, obviously, times 0 plus 3, $3. If I go 1 mile, that's 250 times 1 plus 3. 550 for one mile. If I go two miles, that's 250 times two plus three, five and three, eight dollars. If I go three miles, uh, 250 times three plus three, that's 750 and three, uh, 1050. If we go four miles, 250 times four is um, ten dollars plus three, that's thirteen dollars for four miles. If I plot the points, uh, ordered pairs would look like this. Obviously, x, y, you know, zero, three and then 1, um, 5.5, and so on. So 0, 3, 1, 5, 50, uh, 2, 8, and 3, 10, 50, and draw a straight line through those points, and it should look something like that. And, of course, that's your equation. Y equals 250, X plus 3. And as usual, a linear equation means it's a straight line, the 250 represents the slope. Um, if I take these two points, for example, I would run to rise 5. So my slope is 5 over 2, rise over run, which is 2.5. That's my M, my slope, 2.5. And my y-intercept is 3. That's where it hit the y-axis, okay, at 3. So, any case, what we're being told is that 1 mile costs 5.50. 3 miles cost 1050. How do we go about finding the equation? Well, it's exactly like we've been practicing, isn't it? What we do is we say that um, we've got to figure out what is the input, what is the output variable. The input would be miles, the output would be the fare, okay? So miles would be x, fare would be y. And we're told one mile costs 550, and we're told three miles costs 1050. Okay, so input, output. That's the first thing. Figure out what's the input, what's the output. Now find 
your linear equation, which of course is y equals mx plus b, or y equals something times x plus something. So we've got to find the slope first, then the y-intercept. Now these are, this, these are just two ordered pairs, aren't they? And you can use the slope formula to find the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 1050 minus 550 over 3 minus 1 gives our slope. That's going to be 1050 minus 550 is 5 over 3 minus 1 is 2 and plug that in the calculator and that becomes 2.5. So your slope is 2.5. Now you've got to find your y-intercept. So we found m, now we've got to find b. So we find m and then we find b, just like in the last examples. So find b. Well, write down what we know. y equals 2.5 times x plus b. Plug in a value for y and a value for x, and you'll get it. So we could plug in, say, 1050 for y and 3 in for x, and we get 1050 equals 2.5 times 3 plus b. So that's 1050 equals 750 plus b. So 10.5 equals 7.5 plus b. And subtract 7.5 from both sides. 10.5 minus 7.5 is just 3. So we should come up with b is 3. And we already found m is 2.5. So we found the slope and the y-intercept just like the other, the other examples in the book. And now we can plug 3 in for b. We plug 2.5 in for m. So the answer is y equals 2.5 or 250 times x plus 3. Um, the fare is 250 times number of miles plus $3. Okay. So let's take an example that's like exercise 43 and 44 in the book a cost for a particular phone line. In the afternoon, a 40-minute call costs $1.90, and a 12-minute call costs $0.64. Cent. Find a linear equation that gives the cost of an afternoon call. Now, we might think that, okay, all I have to do is get the cost per minute, okay? So if I take the cost, $1.90, divide by the number of minutes, 40, I'll get the cost per minute, and that's all I want to know, right? Okay, let's try that. 1.90 divided by 40, press enter, and at 0 0.0475. So that is, skip this over here, um, 4.75 cent per minute, isn't it? Well, let's have a look at this other situation. At the same time of day, a 12-minute call costs 64 cents. So the cost per minute there would be 0 0.64 over 12. Do that. 0 0.64 divided by 12. Hmm. 0 0.5333 and so on, right? Which is a... Oh, sorry. Point zero. Point, sorry, point zero five three three, which is of course five point three three, you know, cent, five point three cent, okay, five point three cent. So, for some reason, at the same time of day, a forty minute call costs us four point seven five cent per minute. A uh, a twelve minute call costs us five point three cent per minute. Why was that? Why aren't they the same cost per minute? Because there is a base fee involved. What we've got to do is find an equation that looks like this. Where this number m, the slope, is the cost per minute. The b is going to be the base fee or the connection fee probably for the, for our, for the phone call. Okay. So what's the input? What's the output? What's x? What's y? Well, that's what we've got to decide what our input and our output variables are. What do you think? Would the minutes be the input and the cost be the output maybe? 
that would be naturally the idea because you need to know minutes of a phone call before you can calculate the cost. The minutes come first and then you get the cost. So we'll let x be the minutes and y be the cost. So we have 40, x is 40, y is $1.90. And we have x is 12 and y is 0 0.64. So basically what we have are two ordered pairs. 40, $1.90 and 12, 0 0.64. And all we have to do is find an equation of a line through these two ordered pairs and we have the answer. And we know how to do that. We would just go, um, you know, 0 0.64, the y2 minus $1.90, y1, this is the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So get the slope first, we've got to find m over uh, 12 minus 40, and that would give us 0.64 minus 1.9, would give us negative 1.26 over 12 minus 40 would be negative 28, would it? 12 uh, minus 40. And then we go just negative 1.26 divided by negative 28. And believe it or not, negative over negative is a positive, And that's 0 0.45. Or sorry, do it again. 0 0.045. Okay. So our slope m is 0 0.045, so our answer is y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. So we found m, now we've got to find b. So first of all we found m, now we've got to find b. Write down what we know so far, we know y equals 0 0.045x plus b, and we need to find b. So take one point, let's take 4190, plug 1.90 in for y, plug 40 in for x, and we get this, plus b, and now we can find b. So we have 1.90 equals, and we can go, you know, 0 0.045 times 40, 1.8 plus b. And then get b by itself, subtract 1.8 from both sides, or 1.80, and we should get 0 0.10 equals b, or b equals 0 0.1, 0 0.10, okay? So we find m, we found m, this was m, m was 0 0.045, b was 0 0.10, so we have 0 0.045 times x plus 0 0.10, or y equals 0 0.045 times x, that's 4.5 cent, 4.5 cent plus 0 0.10 plus 10 cent base fee, okay? So what we found is for this particular phone, the cost per minute is 4.5 cent, 4.5 cent per minute, and the connection fee is obviously 10 cent, 0 0.10, okay? Let's have a look at exercise 46. An axis ramp needs to rise 2.5 feet, and so requires a 30 foot length. Hmm. Another ramp built on the same design needs to rise 1.5 feet and requires a, an 18 foot length. What linear equation describes the length as a function of rise? First step, length as a function of rise indicates what is our input and what is our output variable. Okay. Y as a function of X. Um, rise is the input because it's length as a function of rise. So rise is X, length is Y. Okay. So first of all, they told us it needs to rise 2.5 feet and requires a 30 foot length, which means, by the way, um, you need a 30 foot length for it to rise 
2.5 feet and your access ramp looks like that okay and then then we have on the same design needs to rise 1.5 feet and requires an 18 foot length so if the length is 18 it needs to rise 1.5 feet and the access ramp looks like that okay not to scale but that's the idea okay so we have basically two ordered pairs here x y we want to find a linear equation through both ordered pairs y equals mx plus b the first step is find m and after we find m then we find b okay so let's go ahead and find m and when we get our answer we go y equals mx plus b and we plug in the answers so m is of course y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and we could say okay that's um, 18 minus 30 over 1.5 minus 2.5 which gives us negative 12 over negative 1. Negative over negative, positive. 12 over 1 is 12. So our slope is 12. Now find b. y equals 12x plus b. Write down what we know. Find b. We need to take one of these points. We could let y be, one, be 18 equals 12 times x would be 1.5 plus b. So we would have 18 equals 12 times 1.5, 18 plus b, right? Find b, subtract 18 from both sides, and we have 0 equals b. So you should get 0 equals b. b is 0. So m is 12, b is 0. m is 12, b is 0. And our answer is just y equals 12x. No y-intercept. Well, there is one. The y-intercept is 0. But this is the simplest form of the equation, y equals 12x.